One common item that presents some interesting material property requirements is the container for carbonated beverages. The material used for this application must satisfy the following constraints. It must provide a barrier to the passage of carbon dioxide, which is under pressure in the container, be non-toxic and reactive with the beverage and preferably recyclable. Be relatively strong and capable of surviving a drop from a height of several feet when containing the beverage. Be inexpensive, including the cost to fabricate the final shape. If optically transparent, retain its optical clarity. And finally, be capable of being produced in different colours and or, on, or alternatively, be adorned with decorative labels. All three of the basic material types, metals such as aluminium, ceramics such as glass, and polymers such as polyester are used for carbonated beverage containers. Each of these materials is non-toxic and unreactive with beverages. In addition, each material has its pros and cons. For example, an aluminium alloy is relatively strong but easily dented, is a very good barrier to the diffusion of carbon dioxide, is easily recycled, cools beverages rapidly and allows labels to be painted onto its surface. However, the cans are optically opaque and relatively expensive to produce. In the case of glass, it is impervious to the passage of carbon dioxide, is a relatively inexpensive material, may be recycled, but it cracks and fractures easily, and glass bottles are relatively heavy. Whereas plastic is relatively strong, may be made optically transparent, is inexpensive and lightweight, and is recyclable, it is not as impervious to the passage of carbon dioxide as aluminium and glass. For example, you may have noticed that beverages in aluminium and glass containers retain their carbonisation, that is their fizz, for several years, whereas those in 2-litre plastic bottles go flat within a few months.